to be upcycling this plain old piece of wood and some extra test tubes I had lying around and transforming them into a beautiful bud vase made to look like a test tube rack. If you want to see exactly how I do this, then keep on watching. So for my first step, I need to make sure the legs of my test tube rack are long enough and high enough so that my test tubes are a nice height off the table. So I'm going to lay this down and give it a little room to make up for the thickness of the wood. Oops. All right, that is about five and a half. So now I'm gonna go ahead and cut off five and a half from each side and go to our next step. So now I'm going to use my tape measure to mark my measurements on my wood and get it ready to be cut. Now I'm going to take my square and make my lines longer so they're easier to see and cut on. And now I'm going to go cut it. So now I'm going to use the table saw to cut my wood, but if you don't have access to a table saw, a jigsaw or even a hand saw works just as well. Now you can see I'm covering my ears with my earmuffs and my eyes with my safety glasses to make sure I'm all protected by using my PPE. You can notice I'm not wearing any gloves because you are not to wear gloves when operating machinery with moving pieces. So now I'm gonna cut. Now I'm taking another square, this time a little bit smaller, and marking lines on the top of the rack so I know exactly where I'm going to cut my holes when I go to cut them. So now I'm going to cut my three quarter inch holes for my test tubes using the drill press, but if you don't have access to a drill press, a regular drill works just fine. So now I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting my holes. and my legs are cut down to size, I'm ready to start assembling and nailing together my test tube rack. So I'm gonna be using a nail gun, but if you don't have access to a nail gun, a hammer and nails or screws works just as well. So now I'm gonna start putting it together. Now I'm lining up both legs with the top of the rack and using my nail gun to place my nails exactly where I want them in my structure. So now that everything is nice and sanded, I'm gonna go ahead and put on the finishing touches by pouring in some water into my test tubes and then decorating with my flowers and finishing up. All done! I think it came out so nice. I love the way it looks. The light peachy flowers with the white flowers on the corners looks gorgeous and the test tubes at the bottom make it look so sciency and very, very cool. I hope you guys had a whole lot of fun with me this week and I hope to see you in next week's episode of Fun STEM with the STEM Queen, Jacqueline Means. Bye!